Good morning, guys. This is Faithful with Elegance for Less. Welcome and thank you so much for choosing to watch this video. If this is your first time to my channel, I want to thank you so much for joining me this morning. Um, I'm going to do a quick and easy DIY. Now, this week is all about texture. And so, how do you create texture for your home? Things that are beautiful, elegant, but for less money. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of this week. And if you have not seen any of those other videos, I want to encourage you to go ahead and check those out. Now, what you're gonna need for this project is parchment paper or wax paper. And the reason for that is because the glue will not stick permanently to it. So you're going to need your parchment paper or wax paper, a cylinder from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to make two of them. And then you will also need lots of glue sticks. You are going to need lots of glue sticks. I, and I probably will need more than this, so just so you're prepared. Okay, now I went ahead and put one together already of what it is that I need and I will share with you the process. So you just go ahead, take your cylinder, make sure that your parchment paper or your wax paper is at the bottom of the cylinder all the way down and just wrap your cylinder. Now, I'm not going to um, take my paper all the way to the top only because I have the shorter cylinders that I want to use this for because the um, other cylinders are clear and this one is blue. So I want to use the clear one with this. I'm gonna go ahead and make a line. So go ahead and measure your your parchment paper all the way around your cylinder. Sorry, it's a little noisy. Paper makes noise. But the thing that you want to do is leave room. You don't want it extremely tight. You want to be able to have room in here. So you can go on and off easily. So that seems to work perfectly fine. Okay, now that you've got that, you're going to seal it with a little bit of the glue. Okay. So now we've got our model. I want to test that out to make sure that it goes on and off easily. Perfect. Okay. Now that we've got that, I want to choose a pattern and it's up to you. There is no right or wrong. It's just making sure that whatever it is you're doing, that it does um, connect to each other. You want to make sure that it connects. And I think I'm due for a new glue gun. I think I may run out to Walmart and pick one up. And you're going to do this all the way to the top. So this is what I have. I'm going to do that all the way to the top and then I'll be back to show you. So this is where we are after gone all the way around with the glue. 
And what I want to do now is add another pattern onto this. If you see little spots that are extremely thin, you can easily go back and thicken that up because you do want this to be thick and not have thin layers. There should be fairly thick layers there. So like for example, what I'm doing right now, I noticed that there's some thin layers here and I want to thicken that up because I don't want it falling apart. If it's not thick enough, it will break easily. So you want to make sure you go back, examine it, make sure that they're thick enough. <clears throat> so I think that's fairly good and now I want to start the pattern. You start from the top, draw your line all the way down. And that's what you're going to do all the way around. Just make a line. And the same concept, if it's too thin, just go back and thin, thicken it up. Because you do want it to be thick. Not extremely thick, but you do want it to thick and you want it to connect. So make sure whatever it is you're doing, you're connecting. All right, I'm going to do that all the way around and I'll be back. So I've gone all the way around and now I just want to create an abstract kind of texture on here. You can do whatever it is you desire to do. I just want to add some interest. So I'm making random lines. You guys know me by now. Abstract is my friend. Things that are different. <laughs> okay, so there are some crazy lines here. Let's put a few here as well. And then I'm going to go spray paint, come back, and show you what this particular one looks like. Okay? Now I want to go ahead and remove this. And if you've got parts that are stuck to the glass, it comes up easily. Just move your finger on it, your nail, and it will come right off. <clears throat> Just bear with me. Let's get all these loose pieces off. Come on. Get off. Okay. I think we've got it off. Alright. Now I want to remove the parchment paper. And guys, if you only have, if you have foil at home and not parchment paper or wax paper, it's perfectly fine as well. If you saw that video with the, um, that I did with the coaster, it's the same concept. Just go ahead, spray paint, not spray paint, but, um, grease it first. You can use coconut oil or you can use vegetable oil or you can use your spray, um, oil and just grease that area first before you start to to add your glue that way it easily peels off so if you don't have parchment paper or wax it's fine you don't have to go purchase anything if you already have um if you already have the foil which most people have foil at home
have a thick piece that I don't want to be there. So I want to remove that, possibly add some. to it. And this is what we're left with, which I love. And you can take the cobwebs away just so that it's a little bit cleaner. It doesn't look so full of cobwebs. And I did mention before, which I should have, but I didn't have it on the table right in front of me, so I forgot is you're going to, if you want to, you don't have to, I am going to spray paint mine gold. So if you want to spray paint yours, you can choose whatever color that goes with your home decor and go ahead and spray paint it. And this was the desire that I have for my cylinder. So I'm gonna spray paint it and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so before I move on to paint, I wanted to create a second, um, I guess, cover for the cylinder. And so I'm just using one of these glass for measurement so I can create a pattern that I'm going to follow with the um, the glue. So this is pretty much what I'm doing. Creating, let's see if I can get that in the camera for you to see. It's not very bright because I don't want the glue to pick up all the pencil. So I'm just creating a pattern that I can trace with the glue in order to put onto the glass. All right, so bear with me. I'll be back and show you what that looks like. Okay guys, so I have the last one to do and I just want to show you how I'm achieving this pattern with the glue. So just be careful with the hot glue. Just trace and making sure that each time you go around the circle, the glue is touching each other. If there's any thin parts, just go back and tighten it up, or thicken it up. And that's the pattern. I'm going to pull it apart and let you see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I'm finished spray painting. This is what it looks like. I totally love, love, love it. And I'm just calling this a cylinder cover. Um, I think it'd be great to have candles in them. It'd be great to have as just a home decor. Very easy to make. How fabulous is this one? I'm in love with this one. I really think it's great. Love, love, love. Let's stick a candle in there and put it somewhere so you can see it. Guys, how fabulous is that? I absolutely love the way it turned out. I I'm blown away, it's gorgeous. Wish you could see it in person, it is beautiful. Hope this is something that you will recreate. Cost you very little to make, just glue sticks. So this is the other one. I absolutely love the pattern. I like freehand, the first one I did was freehand, but I love having this pattern as well follow. Just creating a pattern that is good for you. Use the glue to create it. I think it's fabulous. I absolutely love it guys. I hope you will recreate this for your home. Let me know how it turned out. I truly appreciate your time, your comments. 
I welcome them and I thank you so much for always participating. And if you are a first timer, guys, I hope you will subscribe and become a part of this family. Leave me a message. I'd love for you to be a part of what we're doing. Thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. And I will see you tomorrow on my next video.